Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna check out the Goblin Tone Distorter by Humanoid Pedals. Let's get it. Before we get started, I'm asking that you please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I recently found out that over 91% of the people who consume my content aren't actually subscribed. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button before we get started. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. I'd like to thank the fine folks at Humanoid Pedals for sending this thing over. This is the Goblin Tone Distorter and I honestly don't quite know what to expect from it. What's throwing it off is that it's kind of telling me it's a distortion pedal, yet it has fuzz and drive on there. So this could be one of those really super versatile pedals and, and only one way to find us to actually plug it in. But before we do that, let's talk about the features that the pedal actually has. It has a volume knob, a drive knob, a fuzz knob, and of course the foot switch itself. It isn't top mounted, but certainly is a very small footprint in terms of your normal size pedal. The power jack is on top of the pedal, however, so that does help with squeezing pedals really close together. From what I understand, the volume knob kind of works a little bit different than other volume knobs. Pretty much the volume knob all the way up is kind of your unity. Anything lower than that will lower your overall signal, but you find that a lot with these types of pedals, these fuzz style pedals, these heavier, kind of saturation style pedals. The drive and the fuzz knob work together, so the way you operate the drive will affect how the fuzz operates and vice versa. So that's where your tone range is gonna kick in the more you kind of tinker with the pedal. In the past, these types of pedals with no EQs have always scared me, but nowadays it seems to you know, kind of excite me because I really think that they tend to have some of the better tones because it's literally your guitar being featured and the pedal sort of supports it. So hopefully this gives us that very same feature. All right, let's not waste any more time. I'm going to be using my Fano SP6 with Mr. Fabulous Mini Humbucker pickups in it. Let's get started. <laughs>
So there you have it. That is the Goblin Tone Distorter. It definitely is more of a distortion pedal than anything else. Look, it says exactly what it is, so it's kind of clear what you're going to get out of this thing. Of course, as an ambient player, I find myself sort of trying to force pedals to sit in the realm of the way that I would use it in some of these demos. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure that approach always works, specifically when it came to this pedal. This pedal has a very specific kind of sound that wants to be highlighted in the way that it should be highlighted. Therefore, it forces you to play differently, to use it very specifically, and also approach it in a different kind of way. From a musical standpoint, that's a breath of fresh air because so many pedals that come in here, I oftentimes can easily manipulate it to sound like how I want it to sound like, and therefore they can easily be categorized as all sounding the same. That's not gonna be the case with this pedal here. It definitely does not sound like any other pedal that I've ever tried. It's its own thing altogether. In fact, I don't think I can successfully describe what this pedal sounds like in terms of, of being able to truly compare it to other pedals that are out there that I've tried at least. So if you can name a pedal that this thing sounds like, feel free to let me know in the comment section because I just don't know. It seems to be its own thing altogether. So we talked about the pros on this thing. Are there any cons? Though I mentioned earlier how I like pedals without EQ options, I really felt like I could have used a little bit of EQ help with this pedal in particular. There was some high end that I wanted to roll off a little bit. The more tinkering I did, the more I realized that rolling off the tone knob helped out a lot. Also even tinkering with my volume knob helped out a lot as well. However, I still would like to get a little bit more options coming from the pedal itself. But it's hard to argue with the design of this product because it really forces you to adapt to it. And believe it or not, those are the kind of pedals that I'm mostly attracted to nowadays. I want products that are gonna make me sort of play differently and this one is definitely that. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I wanna thank the fine folks at Humanoid Pedals again for sending this thing over. I'm always honored to be able to showcase these smaller companies and truly hope for nothing but success for this company moving forward. So please do me a favor, I'm gonna put all their information down in the description box below. Check them out. Let them know that I sent you and be sure to try to buy one of the pedals if you possibly can. I want to remind everyone I'm still on my road to 3000 subscribers. As soon as we break that, we have a giveaway going on. I'll be sure to link the video right up here so that you can see the full length video and know all of the rules on how to enter the giveaway yourself. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit the bell notification icon so you get an alert every single time I upload a video. Like this video. Comment below. Let me know what you thought of the pedal and also let me know what you're thinking of the channel so far. Thank you all once again for watching and until next next week.